Okay, first off, before I get going here, uh, there's a ticking sound. I don't know what it is. I know it sounds like a clock, but it's not. I mean, I stopped big. I stopped little Ben, and there's a, there was a kitchen clock. I put that inside, but I don't know. There's some kind of rattling sound when I move, and it sounds like a ticking clock. But I don't know what it is. It comes and it goes. I don't hear it now, but. When I start moving around, you'll start hearing it. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway. There it is. Anyway. <clears throat> Saturday, yesterday, I was planning on going to an RV dealer and see if I can do some kind of horse trade with my 2014 Kia Forte with barely 20,000 miles on it. And um, then some woman called me up. I knew who she was. I hadn't heard from her in a long time. And she was in the park a couple of days ago and she was in the clubhouse and she saw something that I had posted in the clubhouse about my situation. And she said that she could help me. We had a little chat over the phone. She's gonna come over next week and talk things over with me some more and see what she can do with do for me. And then a couple of other things came up that I had to take care of and I never got to the RV dealer. And then this morning, it's Sunday night now, this morning, I woke up and I said, uh, we'll look at RVs today, we'll go down and check them out. And a couple of hours into the morning, I started thinking about it and I said, you know what? Let's wait until Monday after the burial because I made arrangements. She's going to be buried with my father, as I promised her, tomorrow, Monday. And uh, for the last week now, her remains, her ashes, have been sitting in the corner of this curio cabinet. And uh, I, it's, I'm just not comfortable with it. I know a lot of people do it. Uh, my cousin, I have a cousin who has her brother's ashes in a nice shiny urn sitting on a shelf at home. Uh, I know a lot of people do it, but it's just me. It's just creepy. It's just me. It's not as creepy as having your beloved pet chihuahua stuffed and put on a shelf. That's not just creepy. That's bizarre. Anyway, I have to take her ashes down tomorrow to be buried with my father, so I figured I'd let her have one last ride in the Kia. Because she really loved that car. I bought that car just before she got sick. And she did get to drive it a few times. And then she got sick and dementia set in and that was pretty much the end of her driving. Uh, but I still took her out in the Kia, onto the beach, the parks. Sometimes just for long joy rides, she loved driving in that car. So I figured uh, I let her have one more ride, shotgun, as always, in the Kia. Anyway, I'm not going to take her ashes out, but there are a couple of things I'd like, I want to show you. Uh, I know a lot of family heirlooms I sent to a cousin down in Texas. Uh, what's over here I'm going to have buried with her. And I told them, I said, I would rather have these items in the hands of a family member or buried with them. Uh, I don't want to see these items end up in a farm being dug up by Frank and Mike on the History Channel. I don't want to see that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I know I mentioned this in a uh, previous video. Right. Did they still do this? Is this still a thing? And taking your kids' baby shoes and dipping them in bronze and then putting a picture of you as a baby wearing the very shoes? This, these shoes, this item, caused me many embarrassing moments, particularly with a couple of girlfriends. It got to the point where I dread it when the girlfriend asked, when are you going to take me home to see your parents? 
because I knew she would show her these then I'd have to break up with her no don't ask me that because I really like you don't <laughs> uh, yeah I know when I was in the fourth grade uh, the school library we're getting a bunch of new books in. And uh, they were giving out old books, the old books to students. They had a bunch of them. And one book per student. So I got into the library and I was rummaging through them and I came across this. The Betty Crocker Good and Easy Cookbook. And the minute I saw it, I was thinking about my mother. She always complained that she never had a decent cookbook. And she used to get the recipes on the, in the newspaper and magazines. She always complained. I never had a decent cookbook. So I grabbed this and I brought it home to her. And uh, <laughs> she got many good recipes from this book. She used it. Boy, did she use it. And, you know, we're talking early 70s. In the late 60s, early 70s. Back in New York. She kept it all these years. <laughs> a little worse for wear than when I gave it to her, but <laughs> I'll bury that with her. And I know, <laughs> I know I, there were some things I found that I thought I had buried with my father. Little um, mementos of his from the fire department and the Marines that I thought I had buried with him, but Apparently, my mother uh, snuck a few items out and kept them. Yes, Mom, you're busted. So, uh, <laughs> they're going to be buried with her and with my father. And then these are just pictures. I thought I'd embarrass myself a little bit more. Where is it? These are the favorite pictures my mother had of me. And Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> this is not actually a, a colored picture. What this was, this was a technique they did back in the day. It's a black and white picture and they, they used special color pigments they put the, on it. They made it look like a colored piece or something like that. Yeah. I never knew the process. I heard about it, but that's what that was. But anyway, just pictures and a few other items. My grandfather's passport is in this, is in this, going to be buried with a, I thought I'd just share those couple of things with you. I made it through. <laughs> this is a Bible. My mother liked this because it's zipped up and she's got a lot of uh, funeral cards, a ton of funeral cards in here. And friends and family passed on. They're hers. I have no use for them. <clears throat> Not into funeral cards. Not into funerals. <laughs> I'm not much into weddings either. <laughs> uh, so yeah, tomorrow I get that done. But I still have no death certificates. He told me tomorrow, Monday. I talked to him a couple of days ago. He told me Monday last Friday. Uh, I hope he is beginning to realize that my sense of humor is wearing thin. Anyway, that's about it. Nothing much more to say for now. Thanks for stopping by and for tuning in. We'll talk again.